Hi, I'm Jen Stagg. I'm from the infant feeding team at the hospital in Salisbury. Um, I just wanted to um, talk to you or do a short little video just on um, positioning and attachment. You'll hear that kind of phrase banded around quite quite a lot when you begin your feeding journey. So positioning is um, how your baby's positioned on your breast or, or in your arms to enable him or her to feed. Um, there's just some very clear principles that we like you to kind of um, have a little think about when they're feeding. So your baby needs to be in close. However they feed, um, they can feed in any old position, I'll go through that in a moment, but as long as they're in nice and close so their body's touching your body, they like that, they're comforted by it. Um, you need to have a little think about their head, their um, head needs to be uh, free to be able to tilt back. So um, whatever position you use, however your hands and your arms are, try not to hold the back of your baby's head either with your hand or your arm. It kind of pushes their chin down and if you imagine yourself drinking a cup of tea, a glass of water, you have your, your head back in order to, to, to drink and babies are, you know, little humans. Um, have a little think about their nose. Um, so we like you to try to um, point your nipple in whatever position, sort of almost up their nostril really, and then when they begin to attach, they can kind of put their head back. My baby doesn't really put his head back, because um, it's a, not a real baby. Um, and then um, sort of get onto the, the breast area that way. And, and, and that just tries to, to help the nipple go towards the back of the baby's mouth. Um, where the soft palate is and where the back of the tongue is, so it's just got a little bit more space. We need to have think about the baby being in line, so that means that their head, their back and their bottom are all in the same line. Sometimes people sort of try to breastfeed their baby on their, the baby on their back with their heads turned, and again if you're thinking about drinking a glass of water it's quite hard if you've got your head twisted. Um, and lastly, it needs to be sustainable, so the, 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 the feed needs to be comfortable for you and comfortable for your baby. So just think about how you're positioned, get nice and comfortable in whatever you're using to feed your baby. Have a drink next to you, maybe have the TV remote control, make sure your mobile phone's there. So babies feed a lot and they often feed for quite a long time, so you need to be as comfortable as possible. Um, positions in which to feed so you you can you like I said to you you can adapt adopt whichever position you would like um, as long as you keep to those principles um, there's the, the cradle position which is um, with your arm around the back of the baby there's the cross cradle position which we often kind of teach you in hospital where your hands are at the back of the baby's um, neck and shoulders um, and then you, you get the baby onto the breast that way there's the rugby ball hold or the underarm hold. Um, and then there's our particular favourite in the infant feeding team, the sort of more biological nurturing nursing technique where you just lean yourself back and sort of allow the baby to bounce around and find the breast on his or her own. And they, they will find it if they're given the opportunity to. Um, and then uh, there's, I just want to talk to you a little bit about attachment. So attachment, um, position is how you hold your baby and how the baby is and attachment is how they attach at the actual breast which is really very important too. Um, they need to have a nice big open mouth. Um, imagine that they're, they've taken a bite of an apple so they've got nice full rounded cheeks. Um, they need to have their nose clear, so just um, their nose clear and their chin indenting the breast here. They often use their bottom jaw to really milk the, the breast, so the chin needs to be touching the breast and the nose is nice and clear. We talk about an asymmetrical attachment, which is a bit complicated, but it just basically means that more of the baby's mouth is on the underside of the breast, and um, so there's more areola visible above the top lip than below. Um, the baby needs to have a, a, a nice suck, swallow, sucking pattern. Um, initially when they begin to feed, the, the, the sucking is, is very quick, stimulating suckles to make sure that um, your baby um, stimulates your breast and gets that lovely let down and oxytocin response. 
um, as the milk begins to flow from the, the breast into the baby, the sucks become a little bit slower and deeper and you'll hear milk being swallowed. Sometimes there might be maybe a suck, suck, swallow, sometimes suck, swallow, swallow. So, so just as long as you're hearing good swallows and, and, and a deep rhythmic suckling pattern, that's very positive. And at the end of the feed, you'll you'll see that the, the suckles will become a little bit more like flutters and that's really the baby just beginning to, to, to end the feed in a nice um, kind of sleepy way almost and that's all very very positive. Um, pain, um, often mums are told that if it hurts it's wrong but in our experience breastfeeding um, it is painful initially. It, it shouldn't um, be a horrid, horrid pain that goes throughout the feed. But if you are getting um, some pain at the very beginning of the feed, we sometimes say it might just hurt for 20 seconds maybe, and then it gets nice and um, pain-free, that's great. That initial pain won't last for very long. Gradually, gradually, you won't be able to feel when your baby's feeding. If it goes on throughout the feed, then please seek some help and we'll be able to adjust positioning or, or, or maybe just guide you with something that you might not have seen yourself. Um, what goes in comes out. So a baby that's well attached at the breast will drink appropriately and grow appropriately and poo appropriately. So um, meconium at first is the black sticky poo that you have read about and that gradually gets more green and then more yellow. So by about day five, you should be looking at about two uh, yellow poos uh, and about five sort of wheeze, good wheeze. Um, and your baby initially will lose some weight and then by around day five, they begin, you know, they begin, sorry, begin to start growing again. Any concerns, talk to your community midwife, health visitor or ring us.